Welcome to Matting Ergonomics, hosted by The Anderson Company. Ed Moore of the GM Corporation said, We have a moral as well as legal responsibility to send our employees home at the end of the workday in a condition no worse than when they came in that morning. We agree. The main concern with matting and ergonomics should be to provide a work environment that is comfortable and safe while allowing the employees to be as productive as possible. In other words, do no harm to the employees and maintain the most efficient and productive workstation. Why should workers use ergonomic matting? Number one, reduces muscle aches and fatigue. According to the American College of Occupational and Environmental Science, about 38% of workers in the U.S. suffer from fatigue, which can be described as feeling weary, tired, or lacking energy. Fatigue leads to accidents and injuries, slowed reaction times, poor judgment, and distraction during critical situations. Testing shows that ergonomic matting can reduce worker fatigue. Number two, reduces slip and fall injuries. In 2010, falls were the second leading cause of workplace accidents, and 65% of these accidents occurred on level surface. We spend millions of dollars each year providing PPE products to employees. For example, employers provide hearing protection, eye protection, gloves, clothing, boots, etc., and the employee is walking through the plant and slips and falls. With direct costs over $31,000 per employee slip and fall, should we not also protect the employees from the floor they walk on? Number three, increases worker morale. A test has shown that mats can decrease worker absenteeism. Less absenteeism means more efficiency and less downtime. Number four, increases productivity. This same test shows that mats can increase workers' productivity. More productivity also leads to more efficiency. The National Safety Council encourages the use of ergonomic matting. Ergonomic matting's use is also encouraged by other market professionals, such as occupational nurses, loss control managers, safety engineers, and many, many more. There are tests that have been performed to show the effectiveness and need for ergonomic matting. These tests include a leg muscle activity and productivity study. Ergonomist Mark Redburn with the Center for Ergonomics, University of Michigan, conducted a test at Ford Chesterfield Trim Plant. Mark wanted to see if different styles of mats had any effect on worker fatigue. Mark asked 14 subjects to stand on different mats during a period of several weeks. They filled out a questionnaire each morning before work and each evening after work asking them how they felt with regards to the levels of fatigue. A variety of mats were tested, with the concrete floor being used as the control. The results of the test demonstrated the workers who stood on hard concrete floors suffered significant levels of fatigue and discomfort in their legs, back, muscles, and joints. Workers who stood on an anti-fatigue mat reduced fatigue and discomfort by as much as 50%. Another test was conducted at Lowborough University in England. This test consisted of having a person stand on a pressure plate to demonstrate the movement pattern while they worked at their workstation. Notice the pattern while standing without ergonomic matting. Now notice the movement pattern when standing on an ergonomic mat. Increased leg activity also means increased blood flow. 
This decreases muscle stiffness and fatigue and makes for a more alert and energetic employee. A productivity study was conducted in an oven manufacturer. The study involved placing mats at workstations where currently there were no mats in place. Workers were asked a series of questions before and after their shift. After several months, it was determined that the productivity had increased 2.2% and absenteeism had decreased by 23% with direct cost savings totaling $360,000. The theory behind ergonomic mats is called the muscle pump theory. When an employee stands on concrete, their legs and back become more static as fatigue sets in throughout the day. They move less and cause blood to pool and not be pumped efficiently back to the heart and lungs to pick up needed oxygen. The more motionless they become, the more muscle ache, stiffness, and fatigue sets in. When an employee stands on a mat, their legs tend to have slight movements throughout the day. In fact, mats are designed to cause these slight movements so the body will stay in motion and more efficiently pump blood back to their heart and lungs. More oxygen in the blood keeps us more alert and less fatigued. Cumulative trauma disorders are becoming more prevalent in the workplace. With standing workers, it is cumulative standing trauma, or CSTs, which is the excess stress on the musculoskeletal system due to long periods of standing. Billions of dollars are lost each year due to CSTs. Not only are there direct costs associated with CSTs, like workers' compensation and higher insurance rates, but there are indirect costs such as absenteeism and reduced productivity. 25% of all workers' compensation claims are now back injuries due to CSTs or aggravated from long periods of standing. CSTs can lead to chronic and costly health issues like varicose veins and flattening of the arches. These health issues can be painful and debilitating for employees and end up costing an employer thousands of dollars in lost work time and extra health care costs. Ergonomic mats can reduce the pain, injury, and cost from CSTs. Let's review the advantages of ergonomic mats. Health is improved with reduction of many injuries caused by CSTs. Worker morale improves when they have a comfortable workstation and they see that the company cares about them as an employee. Workers are more alert, causing fewer accidents in the workplace. Fewer accidents means less downtime for production. Less absenteeism because workers like their work environment. Productivity improves when employees like their work and work environment. Increased productivity adds thousands of dollars for company expansion and growth. Many of our customers tell us that adding ergonomic matting to their facility ends up paying for itself in a few short months. There are three basic materials in the manufacturing of ergonomic matting. PVC, or plastic, has been used to manufacture matting for over 40 years. It is mainly used in dry areas, but some mat designs are used in water as well. It is a stiff and hard material and offers lower cost than some of the alternatives. Urethane has been used to manufacture matting for about 15 years. It is also used in dry areas, is softer to walk on, and has the highest cost for matting products. Nitrile rubber is the newest technology used for approximately seven years. 
It can be used in wet or dry areas and is especially formulated to resist oil and greases. Nitrile rubber is soft like urethane, but costs less like PVC. It is designed to be multifunctional for ergonomics, welding, ESD, oil and grease proof, and antimicrobial. And after the mat has given many years of service, it can be recycled. It is truly the most versatile of all the matting materials. Choosing the right mat for the right application is the most important part of mat placement. Whether this mat is for pure comfort or a specialty mat for a specific purpose, such as wet areas, dry areas, slip resistance, welding safe, ESD or anti-static, and chemical oil proof mats, our trained inside and outside staff can help you review your workstation, the application, sizes, and colors, and ensure you get just the right products. Please contact your Anderson representative for more information on our ergonomic matting.